Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Victor. In this video, I'm going to talk about file extensions. In particular, I'll explain what they are and why they are important for writing programs. Let's begin. All right, let's start with what file extensions are. We use computers to store a variety of content for us, documents, songs, images, and even sometimes programming code. A unit of this content is called a file. So a document file for a letter you're writing, an image file for a photo you took on your last trip, and so on and so forth. To distinguish one file from the other, we use file names, which typically is a descriptive phrase telling us what this file is about. For example, a selfie for a photo that I took for myself, or hello world code that I wrote last time. However, this is not enough for a computer. The computer also needs a way to tell which application to use in order to open the file correctly. So, if it is an image file, it uses an image viewer or an image editor to open the file. If it is a piece of code, it uses a development tool that supports that programming language. As you would have imagined, it is very important to open a file with the correct application. Say, if you open a music file with an image viewer, then you won't be able to listen to the music. So how does a computer know which application to use? It uses another part of the file name to do so. In fact, a file name has two parts. The descriptive part that I'm showing you right now, and I just mentioned, and an identifier part, which is also known as the file extension. In modern operating systems, this part is hidden by default, as most users don't really need to know about it. When you create content from application, the application will automatically add the extension to the descriptive part which you put in. And when you try to open the file, the operating system examines this hidden part and picks the correct application to open it. Now, you can, however, make it visible again. And this is how you can do it in Windows. If you're using a different operating system, um, the steps might be slightly different, but it, the, the terminologies is more or less of the same. So here I'm in Windows, I have a file explorer. I have uh, four files. You can see that they have different names, but they don't have that extension part. So to make it visible, first I'm going to talk, um, go to uh, view, and then you will see that there's a little checkbox called file name extensions. By default, it's not open uh, or checked. So I'm gonna check this, and you'll see that all of a sudden, these file names now add a, has a little bit extra at the back. Right? And uh, you can see the full name of a file. So again, the left-hand side is the descriptive part. And on the right-hand side, you can see that they are, it is this little, say, JPG or TXT or PY. That's the file extension. And they are always separated from the descriptive part with a dot or a period or full stop. So with this, this is actually how the computer look at, uh, this is the part the computer looks at and determine which application it's going to use to open the file. For example, for a TXT file, by default, um, Windows is going to use the notepad to open the uh, file. So you can see that it opens, when I double click the file, you'll see this little uh, notepad application opened and it shows you the content inside. Now, the reason why you want to do this is sometimes you might want to change the way the computer opens the file. Um, I've shown you using this uh, TXT when the computer sees it's open this. If I uh, right click on it and I choose properties, you see that actually it, uh, the computer is telling us, you know what, I'm going to use Notepad to open this. I can change it here, but this uh, is something that is a little bit drastic because now, now then, every time you have a TXT file, you will have uh, the computer is going to the operating system is going to use the um, application you change to open it. So we don't really want to do that unless we are absolutely certain what we want to do. Um, so once you know that you can change the 
name or the extension by just clicking onto this and you can actually move it move your cursor to the end and you can change it for example for whatever reasons i want to change it into a piece of code right so dot py now when i press enter you will see that the operating system is going to warn us because this is not something that you uh you often want to do but in some scenarios you might want to so if you say yes you see that now the extension has been changed into py and uh, even the logo changes now this logo is automatically generated by the operating system based on the extension you have so that's why once you change the extension automatically the icon the logo is changed now this is actually a trick that some people use to bypass email filters that blocks files with a certain extension so why are these you know why 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 are these uh, extension important for writing programs? Well, sometimes your program will open a file and process it. So let's take a look at the example uh, an example here. So suppose we have a file with a bunch of numbers, and let's conveniently call it numbers.txt. So I have a txt file. We have a bunch of numbers in it. All right. Now we want to write a program to add all these numbers together. So let me just quickly show you how I would write a Python program to add these numbers together. The details of the code is uh, not very important for this recording or in this video. Uh, I probably will create another video talking about you know how you use Python to open files and whatnot. So just um, you know stay with me and see how I would quickly write a program for that. So first of all, I need uh, a way to access the file. I'll just provide a variable called number file, and I'm going to call a function called open, right? indicating that I want to open the file. So I'm going to um, provide the file name of um, this uh, of the file that I want to access and grab the in content of that. In this case, is this uh, numbers.txt file with the extension txt. Now, the next thing is I am going to calculate or let's uh, add everything up together. I'm going to use a very uh, commonly used programming um, structure or technique called the accumulator technique. So what it does is basically when I go through a bunch of like information or data, I'm going to like um, add them up together or accumulate them together. It's not always adding, but in this case, it's going to be add. So I'm going to say, say the total. So I'm going to create a variable called total and I'm going to set it or initialize it into the value zero, right? The next thing is I'm going to use a structure called a for loop and I'm going to um, do something that for loops will understand or needs. So essentially, I'm going to go through the file one line at a time and I'm going to add the number that I grab from the file into the total. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do something like this. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to explain for, um, in details why I'm doing this here, but essentially I'm just going to add um, the content I read from the number file into uh, uh, this program and then add those numbers into the total variable. Now, once this loop is finished, then I can actually print the content out. So uh, that is, you know, supposed to be the total of all the numbers added together. So we can just do it by hand. We know that this is six, and then add it up, we get like a 12, and then we get 20 and 30, right? But of course we can do it now because we only have five numbers. Imagine that we have a file with like hundreds or millions of numbers. Then of course we can't really do it by hand. Anyway, this is what we expect. So let's give this program a run. So you see that it's actually printing what we expect, which is 30. Now the code here needs to know the full name of the file you are trying to open. And uh, the extension is part of your full file name. So if the extension is missing, then it's no longer a full name, full file name, and the code will give you an error because it cannot pinpoint the file. So let me just quickly show you how it looks like. So let's say I missed the, I forgot about the extension. I thought, well, this number is a number file, of course. The program should be able to figure it out. I'm going to run it. And you can see that there's an error. And the error is that no such file or directory numbers. And the reason is that you're not providing a full name uh, of the file to the program for it to 
correctly and directly pinpoint where the file is going to be. Right? There's actually a little bit more to this in terms of like where exactly the file is going to be. Um, it is something related to full uh, absolute path name and relative path name. But for the time being, if you have both the code and also the file in the same directory on the same location, then all you need to do is to provide the full name of the file that you want to uh, access or open or save even. Right. So um, that's it. And um, here you are. The, um, what is a file extension and also why are they important for writing programs. I hope you learned something useful today and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.